Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and very early impressions for Tomb Explorer VR, a game that released in early access today, August 1st, wow. 2024. Just look at the view. Amazing. Here I stand at the precipice of Petra, captivated by its timeless beauty. The mountains call to me, whispering of hidden marvels and mysteries beyond imagination. I can't help but feel a surge of excitement coursing through my veins, as if the very air around me is charged with anticipation. The rugged beauty of the mountains serves as a stark reminder of the challenges that lie ahead. Uh, this game normally retails for $24.99. It's on a release sale 20% off. I did buy this game, but again, this game is in early access, so... You know, obviously the developers are still working on it, and... This bridge seems to have seen better days. It appears to be broken at the other end. I should turn back and find another way. And if you try to keep going, what happens is you, you can't move forward past this point. So we do have to find another way. Now, I played this a little bit earlier, so I know exactly what to do. I am playing on normal difficulty. And without on normal difficulty, you don't have waypoints and you don't have hints. If you keep it on easy mode, you do have waypoints and hints. So you might want to play on easy mode, especially because I encountered some bugs, uh, some errors. And so it might be better if to play on easy mode so that you don't lose that progress. Uh, At last, the moment I've yearned for, conquering these rugged cliffs, one daring ascent at a time. So you might have a more fun experience doing this on easy mode, given that you have waypoints and you have hints as well. So obviously, Tomb Explorer, <laughs> inspired by Tomb Raider, and this is by the developer Celeritas Games. Can't squeeze ahead. Let's hope this passage doesn't decide to give me a hug I won't forget. Now, Celeritas Games um, actually made one of the games that I really like, but it's super uh, janky. The shade in this area is a welcome respite from the scorching sun. Uh, and that is Sinister Halloween. Now, Sinister Halloween, if you've ever played it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a B-movie game. It's like a B-game for, for a B-movie franchise. So, it's rough around the edges. It's not Behold, super polished, but it is fun. Inspiring grandeur. Tomb below, a breathtaking testament to the magnificence of the past. And this game, right now, as is, is super. I would say it, it's very janky, and it does feel like an early access game. So beware of that. Uh, oh, I did experience some some jalapeno pepper on a summer grill. Jalapeno pepper on a summer grill. Like I said, I, I did experience some bugs, and one of them is that I kept falling from this little zip line. So the zip line here is is done a little bit different it's than most to games. Your inner daredevil and soar across this canyon on that zip line. Now, before I do the zip line, I do want to show off the menu. So if you guys notice something about this menu, does it look familiar? To me, it looks an awful lot like the uh, virtual reality game kit. So let's go ahead and use this device here. This looks like a Lara Croft a climbing, rock climbing gear, ice climbing gear. Now I, I'm right-handed, so my natural tendency is to use this right-handed. But you can see you only use one hand, so you can't two-hand it. And you see what happened there. So let's, uh, unfortunately, we have to restart the map. And that's happened to me before. And like I said, I, I don't know if it's just because. Wow. Just look at the view. It's early access Amazing. or if I'm doing something wrong. Here I stand at the precipice. But of it does suck. Captivated. Now. By its timeless beauty. 
you might be wondering why doesn't that low checkpoint? It's because low checkpoint doesn't really work. So I, I should have tried it just to show you guys, but the moment I've yearned for conquering these rugged cliffs, one daring ascent at a time. But let's just climb real fast. So the climbing does feel right. Like, although you notice you can grab any point. You don't have to like grab on top or anything like that. So it's not like the most super polished climbing I've ever done in VR. Now there is a stamina system, but I'm not 100% sure exactly how it works. Tight squeeze ahead. Let's and obviously he repeats his same lines, which lose a little bit of their luster if you've done this more than uh. once. The shade in this area is a well but me falling uh, has happened from the, so the zip line to me has been the most dangerous part of this game so far behold the awe-inspiring <laughs> grandeur of the ancient tomb below a breathtaking testament and we left our hat behind so but that's okay we don't need, we don't need the hat it's hotter than a jalapeno pepper on a summer grill um let's just do this it's time to channel your inner daredevil Again, so we're across this canyon on that zip line. Okay, so I'm going to do this left-handed. I don't know if that that'll make any difference, but we'll we'll test it out and, and see. Maybe doing left-handed is the key. I, I tend to do stuff right-handed, but maybe doing it left-handed is the key. Indescribable sense of purpose. Knowing that I am on the brink of something extraordinary. So we're going to have to find these relics and put them all each here. Pressure plate yearns for the touch of a specific relic. The intricate carvings on the support blocks could match the relics with the rightful places. Let the symbols guide me to reveal the path ahead. So there's some insects. Uh, they're hard to see. I don't really like this part. Uh, I, I think the insects are too difficult to see and it's just... I, I don't know. Is this supposed to be... I don't know. To me, that's just not smooth and polished enough. That that feels super janky. It just doesn't feel really good, you know. Hmm. It would seem that activating the pressure plates outside could remove the pillars blocking the tomb entrance and unlock the final pressure plate here, which in turn could open the doors. So uh, there are several little triggers here. We're gonna look around before we do anything. Again, I, I don't really get this part. Like, are you just supposed to wave your torch around and that's it? There doesn't seem to be too much to that. Now, if you notice, there's like a little outline. <laughs> I mean, I could see that from a mile away. I've also done it before, but even the first time I could see it. Uh, and then you can go over here as well. Oh, we, that was how we got up here. Okay. So... Obviously, I see I can climb here, but what I really want to do is I see a switch over there, and I w so we're gonna have to climb all around here. Hopefully, we don't fall because uh, unfortunately, with this game, you do lose a lot of progress if you fall. So let's let's hopefully we don't fall down. I am playing standing. I did play seated earlier. Uh, I didn't really notice any issues with playing seated, but obviously, you're, you're gonna do better if you play standing because it's just easier to. To turn around 360, even with a even with a swivel chair, that's been my experience. But who knows? Maybe some of you have a better swivel chair than I do. You have a better gaming chair, so you're able to perform better. There doesn't seem to be much to the climbing, but obviously, if you fall down, the set penalty is pretty severe. As far as losing time and having to redo the section. You know, that, this is why I'm playing standing. It's just, it's just easier to do it and turn around physically versus using the, the smooth or, or snap turn that's available. Uh, you do have full locomotion. 
Uh, smooth or snap turning. Uh, I have this on medium graphical settings. It looks gorgeous. There's an opening cinematic to this game that looks really good. Now the animations aren't the best, but it is like a really good looking map. And the character models aren't, I, I'm not gonna say are the best, but they, you know, they look better than the average VR release, so. Yeah, the opening cinematic does look good. There's there's some eye candy. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave it at eye candy, but obviously some, some gorgeous uh, character models. And there's a switch here. There we go. We turned on the switch. And I don't know, are you supposed to just, like, jump down, I guess, maybe? Maybe? Now, you do have this uh, quick inventory. So, you see you have a whip. You have uh, a torch. You have the bow and arrow. You have your little uh, climbing stuff. And you have... Now, I, I haven't seen a situ situation where I need to use this over the torch. The little glow stick. I'm going to get get out my torch. I think there's... Oh, there, there's a coin. Well, well, look what we have here. Ancient coins, the original cryptocurrency. Not all the lines are, are funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, it's not really Tomb Raider with these lines. It's more like uh, Duke Nukem. That's what it sounds like. At least the writing. The game is, is Tomb Raider, but the lines are Duke Nukem, for sure. There's another coin there. Ancient coins, huh? Talk about pocket change with a rich history. I wonder if I can still use them at the nearest vending machine. And this is a little confusing because I went through here, but I didn't see anywhere to go. Maybe. Did I miss this earlier? No, I didn't. Yes, I guess I did. You know, I thought there was nowhere to go, but apparently there is. Okay, let's... Let's find out what, what's over here. Hopefully there's some good treasure. Now, this does feel like virtual reality, reality game... Game kit physics, because it is on the janky side, I would say. Okay. All right. What the hell, man? What the hell? Okay. How do we get across? We... Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. That was more difficult than it needed to be. I hope that's not the intended, the intended thing you're supposed to do to get across. There is another lever here. Oh, okay. Hmm, I did not know that. Okay. Okay, I guess there's no choice here but to go... But to go down. Okay, so again, let's do this again. I'm gonna do this left-handed because I think right-handed leads to an error, which I don't like because I'm not I'm not left-handed. I prefer to do stuff left-handed, but yeah, it seems like right-handed causes issues. Left-handed, it, it it's working as intended. So beware! Don't use those tools left-handed. It might lead to issues. And again, we're going to get our torch. Now, the torch we can use right-handed. It's not going to cause problems. And as you can see, there's something over there. So we can get over there on that side and see what treasure there is to get. Look at this. 
an ancient chalice, beautifully adorned with intricate designs. This artifact speaks volumes about the cultural and artistic brilliance of those who came before us. I bet if I drink from it, I'll become immortal. Um, you know, that was a little bit funny. Not gonna lie, that was a little bit funny. Especially since I think he was being sarcastic about it being this invaluable artifact <laughs> that showed the great <laughs> greatness of the previous ancient society, ancient civilization. Okay, let's uh. I think we have to jump. Do we have to jump this? I think so. So we have one artifact. We have one, and we have one switch that we've pulled. I think I think we already got this artifact, didn't we? No, 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 we didn't. This is a Okay. Oh, those switches are opening like a uh, hidden door, hidden uh, pass. I guess hidden walls. Okay, I see. Have we haven't? Have we gone through here? I feel like we have, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah, I think we have to go like over here. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure which way we should be going. So like I said, uh, the easier difficulty has the waypoints. What happened? Is this a gold bar just stick there? Is that a... Is that a... I bet this could cover the expenses of traveling here. Or maybe even buy a small island. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay, it didn't just... For whatever reason, it didn't go on the inventory right away. Okay, I see. Okay, so what do we do now? Do we do we go up there? No, let's not do that. So, uh, I definitely want to get inside the tomb because I definitely want to see more exciting parts of this game. But, uh, unfortunately, without the waypoints and all that, we, we kind of have to figure it out on our own. H have we gone? I want to say we went through there already, right? Isn't this just another way to get to where we were already? Uh, let's, let's go down because I, I have a feeling that we're, we're missing something that's obvious. Okay. So, uh, have we gone this way? Wait, have we not gotten any of the artifacts? I thought we already got one. The chalice, maybe. Is, is there a chalice? No. There's no chalice here. We haven't gotten any of the artifacts? Okay, oh wow. I thought for sure we had gotten one. But no, all we've gotten is like personal treasure. Okay. So, I mean, we're still basically at full health, but our stamina is down to zero. Okay. Okay. Again, these things are, are hard to see and it's kind of pointless. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't see anything. I'm just waving around the torch haphazardly. But we're still pretty much at full health, except that our stamina is down to zero. 
and I don't know how detrimental that is. But I, I, I think that switches you need to pull so you can f open doors so that you can get tre some of the treasures. So I think that's what we're doing. So we have to open doors, open passages, passageways so that we can then get the, the artifacts to open the way. So I think that makes sense, right? But uh, I don't know that... Uh, did we already go through here? No, we haven't. Okay, so I think this is one way to, to get around. Okay. Okay, so I think this is where one of the artifacts is, if, if I remember correctly. Like I said, I played this a little bit earlier. So I want to say this is the way to one of the artifacts that we need to open the way. But I... Oh, crap. Come on. Again, this is this is pretty stupid if you ask me. Not my favorite part of the game here. But we're still at pretty high health, so This relic must be the key to unlocking the entrance to the Masonic tomb. The significance of this discovery is immense. The path to untold mysteries is slowly revealing itself. Okay, so we found one of the artifacts that we need. And... We just jumped down, or... What did we do? I guess we just jumped down. I, I don't know what else to do. Uh, this is not the way I want to do it, but I don't I don't think we have too many options here. Let's let's go. And uh, yeah, we didn't I don't think we lost any health, so I think we're we're fine. So, let's find where the vase. There we go. I think it goes here, right? Okay, so we found one artifact. Now we gotta find two others. So I think that's the key. You you pull the switches, you find open areas, and then you go there. So let let's see where else we can go. So you might have to do some backtracking uh, with with that kind of system. I did hear some kind of movement. I don't know what that was. So let's uh, let's uh, let's go up this way. I, I have a feeling that we didn't go the right way when we went, when we went up here. So let's try that again we might have gone the wrong way and that's why we didn't get the artifact that we were, we were needing to get okay is there anything that we missed i don't think so So do we do we go up or down or didn't we go here already? I think we need to go over there maybe. Yeah, I think we already went up here and we went over there and that's how, what we did. We need to go over this side. That's that's what we need to do differently. I think I understand now. Yes, I, I think this is I think we're going the right way now. Not that the other way was the wrong way, but the other way led us to a different artifact that we I don't think we needed. I think it was just like a bonus.
Yeah, I think we're going the right way now. Now, do we go over here now, I guess? So far, there's been a lot of climbing involved. A lot, a lot of climbing. Okay, let's... Okay, this seems like a... Like an artifact here. And let's... Again, some of this is pretty clunky. And we got the journal instead here. But uh, we already know what to do. Oh, come on. Found it. Another piece of the puzzle. This second ancient relic is like a vital key, further unlocking the long-forgotten entrance to the ancient tomb. Okay, so now we get the, uh... And again, yeah, you have to do this left-handed, otherwise... You'll fall to your desk more than likely. Yeah. So, that was the, the error I was doing earlier. I was doing it right-handed, and you can't do it right-handed. Else you'll fall to your death more than likely. So now we know. So that's good to know. Still, I I don't think that should matter whether you do it left-handed or right-handed. So I, I would say that's a bug. Okay. So we need to find one more relic. I'm gonna assume it's there, but I have no idea how to get there. Huh, how do we, how do we do that? Um, there's another coin here. By the way, I think you have to save, I think you have to finish the level for it to save your progress and unlock the next level. So, so beware of that. I hear something here, like an insect that's supposed to be here. Yeah, I think it's better not to engage. And I'm not sure how, where, where it is. Haven't we gone everywhere already? I'm at a loss to figure out where we haven't been to. Let's check the outside because there might possibly be something over here. Maybe. I doubt it, though. No, there's like an invisible barrier here. Ah, there's a... There, here it is. Okay, I'm glad we went this way. We figured it out, boys. There we go. Okay, so what opened up? Can we figure it out? Something opened up. What is it, though? I have no idea. Huh. Well, let, let's look around here first before we do anything. Oh, we, I think we killed it. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, is it right here? Or did we already get this? No. Oh. An ancient golden dish preserved through the ages. It's fascinating to think about the feasts and ceremonies where this artifact might have played a part. It's probably worth a fortune. Maybe. But uh, unfortunately, that was useless to us advancing because uh, we're nowhere closer to finding the artifact that we actually need to proceed. Oh, okay. All right. So we need, I think we needed to go here. All right. So uh, as you can see, there's some traps. We're going to have to, I think, jump across them. Uh, 
Again, I, I'm not a big fan of, of that. Did we? Okay. So a lot of this game does feel super unpolished, but again, this is an early access, so I guess that's to be expected. I didn't feel like I stepped on the uh, on the trap, but that's okay. I think there's a trap there. Oh, gosh darn it, Dan, it's hard to see. How much health do we have? Okay, we're down to low health, but I think we can do it as long as we don't run into any other traps. So I don't know that we can climb. Can we climb or go anywhere? I don't think so. I think we just go back up. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, this was not what we needed. I know it looks... Let's go ahead and let's try to put it on, but I don't. I don't think this is it. So again, there's a lot of uh, wasted uh, trips. So there's still somewhere that we need to go that I haven't figured out yet. But let's go ahead and let's try this. But it doesn't look like whatever this is. I don't know, maybe you combine it with something? Is it possible maybe you need to combine it? Uh, maybe with the, ch with the chalice, maybe? golden wrist brace a fascinating artifact with historical significance in ancient times wrist braces like this were often worn by kings as a symbol of their power and authority I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw everything at <laughs> unfortunately that was not the answer I was I was hoping it might be, but it but it doesn't seem like it is. Okay, so let's uh I don't know. Is there any way to combine this stuff? Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. Unfortunately. So yeah, I'm a little confused. I don't know where this is. I have no idea. We might end our video here, but we'll just, we'll, we've gone through there. We've gone through there. Is there anywhere that we haven't gone to? Let, let me. Obviously, obviously there's some backtracking, so it's kind of hard to keep progress when you're backtracking quite a bit. So. I want to say we, we've already gotten this treasure. Yeah, we've already gotten it. We've already gone through there. We've already, got, uh, already gone through there. Why do I hear like a frog? We've already gone through here. Oh, this is another treasure. Queen's golden crown, a symbol of power and elegance, worn by a ruler long gone. Did we miss something? Oh, uh, maybe... Did we climb up there? Maybe there's something over there that we missed. Okay, let, let's try that. Let's try that. I don't know that there's anything over there, but let, let's... We've already we've already done that. Maybe Yeah, there might be something here that we that we missed. Let's let's try this out. 
Oof. There's been a lot of climbing. I'm already starting to, to get a little sweaty. Oh, look at this. Okay, definitely we haven't gone through here. So this is something new. So it looks like we're going the right way. Hopefully this is where the artifact is so we can get inside and at least take a look before we stop the video. Uh, my initial impressions is, you know, obviously uh, this does have, it is a bit jank on the janky side. So again, it's early access. So where are we going? Where are we going, by the way? <laughs> it is early access, so that's to be expected. So obviously right now your main reason for buying this game is to support the game. You like the, the idea of the game. And so you want to support development, but uh, obviously, if you don't like janky games, then this wouldn't be for, right for you uh, until it's polished up a bit more. Okay, all right. So I think we're going the right way. Oh crap! Watch out! Okay. Oh my god, uh, this jump. This is this is definitely uh feels oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. So ooh, we're we're still, we're still good with health actually. No. I, this is it. The final missing link. With this relic in my possession, I can now unlock the ancient tomb entrance. Finally. The culmination of my efforts is at hand. Finally. Time to witness the wonders that lie beyond those age. Again, we're going to do this left handed because right handed doesn't seem to work. Oh, there was an easier way to get over here. But we've already we've already discovered it. So I guess nothing to do now but to jump down. All right. Oh no. Oh my god. How many times is it? I mean, our health is not bad, so at least we're we're fine health-wise. But yeah, that's that's a little annoying, I have to say. A little on the annoying side. Okay. So, hopefully the the tomb opened up. Let's go check on it. So we're almost dead. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what's going on. Do we have to climb up again? Uh, I have no idea what we do here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's... I thought that was maybe the solution, but nope. Oh wait, there's still the crown here. No? Not the solution? Nope, not the solution. Play... Price three relics. Oh, three. Why three? Okay, so we can... Three. Well, I guess the gold is not a relic. Oh, come on. There. Three relics. Is 
Is is that not it? Why is it not opening? Wait, what's going on? There's three three relics. What's going on here? Maybe this is not one of them? I don't know. The treasure dish, maybe not it. No? What's going on here? Unlock two entrance. Place three relics on pressure plates. Did we not do that? Okay, I'm I'm so confused. Is it talking about that over there where, where we already placed the relics or do we take off the relics and put it over here now? Is it I I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I am confused. Well, I, I don't get this part. Rather than making the video longer, though, I'm going to end my video here. Uh, my initial impressions is that this game looks like it has a lot of potential. But right now it is very rough around the edges so i would only recommend this game if you're looking to support development because like i said it does look like it may be a good game at the end of development but who knows you have to trust this developer to uh polish up the game and make it uh experience that's more accessible for, for for more people right now you really have to love vr and want to support pc vr in order to trudge to some of these mechanics that are a little rough around the edges anyways i'm fast lawyer this has been my let's play early impressions for tomb explorer vr not tomb raider but tomb explorer if you found this video useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day goodbye